Okay, see guys, so this is the how you position the lock. Okay, so this is the lock. Okay, so this is the procedure on how to disable the high voltage onboard electric system for Mercedes Benz EQ C400. Okay, guys. So you will use the scan tools you will click here. Okay, next, and you can read here that there are important notes first. Creation of the high voltage onboard electrical system powered disabled events lag compromises several operation steps. The actual values required for enabling the high voltage onboard electrical system are read out from the respective control unit. Evaluation of the measurement values is performed automatically. The test procedure is continued automatically. And here's the overall procedure guys. So number one, automatic test of communication with the control units involved. Number two, reading out old memory and automatic evaluation of result. Number three, close outer socket flap and secure against insertion of charging cable connector. Number four, read out and evaluate actual values before activating of components S7 high voltage dis disconnect device. 7. The high voltage component lock is locked. 6. Activate components S7 high voltage dis disconnect device. Installed high voltage activation lock. 7. Check for broken circuit in 30C. 8. Evaluate of the voltage value of the high voltage onboard electrical system display on the multi multi-function display number nine read out and evaluate actual values before generation of high voltage onboard electrical system power disable event lag then print out the high voltage onboard electrical system activation lag sign it and place it in the vehicle where it's clearly visible so this is the overall procedure that you need to perform when you disable the high voltage okay to continue so further procedure and plug the charging cable so close the outlet socket flap and secure against insertion of charging cable connector stick warning sticker across the outer socket block so this is a place so you will put this sticker okay there's a sign then there's a caution here the warning sticker may only be removed after completion of the maintenance and repair work and the next bolt free initial startup of the high voltage onboard electrical system after sealing the outer socket flap with the warning sticker, continue to the button continue. So you will click continue here. See when you click continue, you can see here next switch on terminal 15C. So you will switch on. So requirements. So you need to look at your scan tools. So key in vehicle status of associate actual value status of the circuit circuit 15 switch on the terminal 15c then precondition you can see here driver door close then brake pedal not operated clutch pedal not operated okay this is the uh, instruction so before you proceed then pre-start the instruction pre-start pre stop button Another there's a warning guys, 
So continue the procedure without establishing the requirement status beforehand can lead to false or error in the procedure. So make sure you do it correct so that there is no error for the procedure. Then click continue here. Okay, the next step, activate the components of S7. So this is the S7, the connector. Okay, so high voltage disconnect device. So caution. De-energization of the high voltage onboard electrical system may only be performed by appropriate trained workshop personnel. So it should be the one who are expert to this job. Then awareness training for high voltage onboard electrical system is not sufficient for this. So requirements qualification. So make sure guys to read all the instructions so that there is no error. So expert in operation on intrinsically safe high voltage series production vehicle or model series. So procedure. So we are here now in the procedure guys. So you can see activate the component S7 high voltage disconnect device. To do this, operate the release. You can see the arrow. Like this guys. Okay, so again, uh, activate component S7. High voltage disconnect device to do this operate the release you see the arrow is one here you can see this is how you're gonna release then and move the component is seven high voltage sideway so you will remove sideway from here high voltage activation lock into the component so I will move a little bit see this is now the position of your socket like this so you slide like this okay, first look at this and next this one then pull okay then you will put a lock so if you can see you need to put lock here like this one it bigger okay this is the procedure guys see so number four you need to press this then see you need to slide and it will goes like this okay and there's a hole here inside then you will put lock to prevent not to get in while you're still working the power okay so it's stated here high voltage disconnect device and lock remove key of high voltage activation lock and keep it in the safe place so the lock okay the key for this you need to keep it in the safe place make sure no one will take it or maybe they will open it so it can cause problem so next after installing the high voltage pressure lock, press the button to continue. Again, you will click that one to continue. Okay, after you press continue, so look at your instrument panel. So it's coming out now if you do it correctly. So you can see the high voltage system here. So de energize. Yes, then voltage is zero now, current is zero. Okay, so before this uh, information come out to your uh, panel, this one, the high voltage system. So there is a procedure here. Okay, you can see the procedure. So how are we gonna do this? So there is a number here. Okay, to. Uh, how you're gonna activate and uh, open this data so procedure they okay, confirm the fault display in the multi multi-function display 
so icon number three so this one this is the multi icon display here so this one you can see here this area so so by operating the finger navigation pad so item number one so this one this is the uh, we call this one the finger navigation pad okay so what we're gonna do swipe on the finger navigation pad the item number one okay, to select the new item then trip in the malfunction display item number three so it will come out the trip then hold down the bottom button back so this one number two okay see hold down the button back item number two for approximately three to four seconds and press on the finger navigation pad item number one so this one so menu vehicle data is displayed then what we're gonna do confirm the selection by operating the finger navigation pad item number one again confirm the selection by operating the finger navigation pad item number one then scroll down until the data of the high voltage onboard electrical system are displayed so then this one Okay, so again scroll down until the data of the high voltage onboard electrical system are displayed. So we will scroll down here, right in number one. Okay, then until this data will come out. Then we need to check the specified values. The specified values is 60 volt for the voltage. Okay, for the voltage for zero ampere for the current and the high voltage onboard electrical system is de-energized okay so now question are your display and value usable then the next to this you will do the print out and write who's the technician and what you're gonna do you will put it on your car to identify that this vehicle is in service okay so this one now will come out so this is the actual now for this model for this uh, job uh, for the uh, EQC 400 Mercedes Benz so the energize yes both is zero current is zero so meaning you can now continue the service you can now remove the high voltage area okay and then when you click continue you can see here the high voltage on board electrical system the activation lag has been created and the high voltage on board electrical system is de-energized so meaning you are now safe to work to your high voltage area to your car so further measurement repair measure can now be carried out without danger so very clear so this is uh, how to uh, disable the high voltage on board so this is the end of the procedure guys so i will show you the actual uh, connector okay the s7 how it lock okay see you guys so this is the how you position the lock okay so this is the lock you'll put it and make sure the key is with you so that no one can touch this area okay so this is the s7 okay so thank you guys hopefully it helpful to you maybe you can you will perform this uh, job so you can do this